focus everyone. Commander! Rivers, you're alive. What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is, you're number two, just behind Connor. You took my spot, and for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave, now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them, and then find Connor, and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about me. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. <clears throat> I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go! Good luck, Jacob.
The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. Anyone receiving me?